At LHTC Broadband, we're proud to provide the communication services you need to get the most from today's technology. We're your local choice for TV, phone, and internet. We offer high-quality cable TV service with HD, multi-room DVR, on-demand, and watch TV everywhere, plus unlimited calling. And our internet is faster than ever with speeds up to one gigabyte. With no contracts and local customer service, switching has never been easier. Call today, 724-593-2411, or visit LHTCBroadband.com. Next on Westmoreland Saturday morning, it's Heritage Happenings brought to you by St. Vincent College here on 98.7 Westmoreland Gold, 1480 WCNS, and Gold.net. Greetings, Westmoreland County. My name is Jessica Petrovich, and I am your Westmoreland Heritage Director and host of Heritage Happenings here on 98.7 Westmoreland Gold, 1480 WCNS, and westmorelandgold.net, sponsored by St. Vincent College. Heritage Happenings is also available as a podcast on all of your favorite streaming services. Please check out Westmoreland Heritage at westmorelandheritage.org and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for updates on cultural and historical events throughout Westmoreland County. We have a great show planned for you today. We'll be hearing from the Norwin Historical Society, the Scottdale Historical Society, and the Westmoreland Cultural Trust. Our first guests, Sharon Lunn and Carl Hoosier from the Norwin Historical Society, are on call with us this morning. Sharon, Carl, thank you both so much for being on call this morning. Well, thank you for having us. And uh, I'm very excited to ask you about this upcoming event, the Norwin Historical Society's annual holiday house tour is coming up soon. Uh, This year's event features an in-person watch party as well as a virtual option. Uh, Sharon, can you talk more about the planning that went into this year's event? I certainly can. Uh, In planning our holiday house tours, um, we actually need to start early in the years. So at that time, early last year, the vaccine had just become available and the circumstances were very uncertain as to what would happen as the year progressed. So we thought the safest and smartest thing to do would be to plan another virtual tour, knowing that many homeowners would not readily agree to opening their home to so many. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, fortunately learned a lot from last year's tour and also had set up the ability to order and pay by credit from our website. So this helped make our job a little bit easier this time around. And we have learned much and hope to improve our methods and presentations for this year's tour. Very nice. Uh, And uh, uh, the in-person watch party, I know, was a big hit last year. And I'm assuming that plans are even grander for this year's watch party. (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, While I have a moment, though, I'd like to mention our sponsors so I don't forget them. Of course. Uh, It was made possible by Excella Health, S&T Bank, Duncan Financial, Greenhouse Winery, Countryside Veterinary Hospital, and the Fire Pit. And also a special thanks goes out to our videographer, Ed Sam, and Nathan at NetTracks for all his help with our website and promotional emails. And Sharon, I'm so glad you mentioned all those businesses because we really want to support those individuals who support, you know, our local nonprofits and historical societies because the work that you do, we've had this conversation on the show uh, before with other guests. It's, you know, once uh, a historical society decides to take on a project, it's often a labor of love with a few people who are very dedicated and having support of local businesses is essential. (laughs) And So this year, um, again, we have the virtual option and the in-person watch party. So how can members of the public go about watching this year's tour or if they want to go to the in-person event? What's the procedure? Yeah, I'll be happy to explain. And I'm going to add a little bit more explanation about the two events. We are planning uh, a great evening at Greenhouse Winery for a watch party. Saturday, December 4th, from 5 to 9 p.m. The donation of $25 will include a light supper, wine tasting, and watching the holiday house tour video on a big screen. And all this, uh, plus you can buy chances on gorgeous gift 
raffle baskets, Ooh. which will be displayed there. And uh, we will pick the winner at the end of that evening. So that makes it a little more exciting, too. And you may want to come early to the winery because that day they have their open house and they're having music, which will start at 3 p.m. So what a fun evening out with yeah, your friends. Yeah, that's lovely. Maybe. Yeah. And or if you choose to stay home and watch the video in the comfort of your own home, uh, you can do that by subscribing and the video will be available anytime the whole weekend of December 4th and 5th for you to watch at your leisure. And the way that works is after the people subscribe, probably like the day before, they will receive the link and the password to access the email mm-hmm. for, to be, view the tour. Very nice. And as you mentioned, you know, this is a good option if you're a little wary still of going out in public exactly. or if you'd rather just, you know, wear your pajamas and curl exactly. up and yeah. view yeah. some beautiful and, houses. And Sharon, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, are there new houses this year on the tour or is it? kind of a redesign oh, yeah. well, of oh okay we have, we have uh all uh new homes um that well there was one that was featured before but uh i hate to say too much about it because the last time it was uh, a lot different than it is now. Oh, good. Okay, so, so yeah, fresh yeah. homes to see. So if you yeah. watched last oh, year's, yeah. this year will be a big different it's experience. The, yeah, yes, it, absolutely. We do have many options to sign up for this year's tour. We do ask that each person sign up individually. And how you do that is there's, like I say, there's several options. The first one would be to go to our website at www. Uh, NorwinHistoricalSociety.org, mm-hmm. and there you can sign up and pay by credit card. Or if you just want to print the sign up sheet, fill it in, and mail it in with your check to the History Center, that's fine too. Mm-hmm. Um, and on that website, you can also add an additional donation to have chances on one of our beautiful raffle baskets. Now, if you prefer to sign up in person, you can always go to the Norman Library the Norwin Chamber of Commerce, or if we happen to be open during an event night, um, we'll be there selling uh, subscriptions at that time as well. Oh, that's great to have so many options, especially, you know, if you happen to be in the neighborhood, it's always nice to visit one of those local places and you can sign up while you're there. (laughs) Exactly. We hope to see them. (laughs) And Sharon, let me ask, as we're running out of time already here, um, what other upcoming plans does the Norwin Historical Society have for 2022? too. Uh, Anything else to share? Well, I'm going to put Carl on for that part of the segment. Oh, perfect. Carl, let's hear it. (laughs) All right. Very quickly. uh, First of all, uh, upcoming is our uh, cookie tour that's on Friday, December 3rd, which is the evening before our virtual house tour. Yum. And for our um, upcoming events for next year, uh, as our annual Memorial Day ceremony on Sunday, uh, before Memorial Day Monday with our uh, military honor guard. Mm-hmm. Uh, we hope that we've resumed our uh, antiques on Maine uh, sale. Uh, it was very successful this year. It's going to be in September again in 2022. Great. Uh, obviously, we are planning to have our house tour in person this year. Yay. I'm sorry, in 2022. Uh-huh. So that would be great to, to get that going. And uh, we've resumed giving presentations to local groups and clubs since the pandemic hopefully is uh, on the wane. Mm-hmm. And of course, our new history center, yeah, we finally have it where we want it. And it's open during events and by appointment. So, and Carl, uh, what's the address yes, for the new uh, location for the Historical Society? It's uh, 304 Main Street, Irwin. So mm-hmm. it's uh, very simple to find. And uh, right on Main Street, new people can come in or give us a call and schedule a come in and see what we have. A lot of interesting things. And I, I want to thank you for having us on, too. Oh, well. of course. Yeah, it's always wonderful to hear about your events. And the Norwin Historical Society's events are always just top notch. And uh, we know that this in-person watch party for uh, this year's Holiday House Tour will be a very good time. And I'm glad, Sharon, that you brought up uh, coming early to enjoy some of the great local music that Greenhouse will have as well. So you can turn it into a whole celebration if you'd like. The House or Committee, uh, Sharon and Geraldine, have worked extremely hard to make this successful. So uh, we're hoping that um, the community will enjoy what we have for them this year. 
Well, thank you both so much. And just a short little recap, you can go to norwinhistoricalsociety.org Org to find the form. Uh, you can order online if you would like the link or to attend the in-person watch party. You can print and then mail in a check or you can stop by in person to the Norwin Library or Chamber of Commerce or if the Historical Society happens to be open, you can stop in there too. Sharon and Carl, thank you both so much for your time this morning. And thank you for having us. Please check out the Norwin Historical Society at norwinhistoricalsociety.org or stop by 304 Main Street in Irwin. This is Heritage Happenings, the show with the latest information on Westmoreland County cultural and historical events and organizations. I'm Jessica Petrovich. Thanks to our sponsor, St. Vincent College, for supporting our show today. Our next guest, Ian Uhouse, president of the Scottsdale Historical Society, is on call with us right now. Ian, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, Jessica, it's great to be back. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And as Ian reminded me, this is the fourth anniversary of me being the host for the show now. Uh, So I'm grateful to you, Ian, for reminding me of that. I feel like I just started yesterday. We just heard from the Norwin Historical Society about their holiday house tour. And I know the Scottsdale Historical Society is offering a replay of their excellent 2020 virtual tour this year. Ian, if you could share details about that virtual option this year. Yes. So we were really hoping that we'd be able to do an in-person tour again this year. And unfortunately, just with the way things still are, we just really didn't feel comfortable with putting something like that out this year. But we are certainly hoping to have that brought back for the 2022 season. Yes, hearing but the same with, stuff from Norwin too. Yeah, but with our virtual tour that we put together last year, we did have a, a lot of people asking if we could replay that again this year. And if you go to our website, scottdalehistoricalsociety.com, you can find out information about purchasing the virtual tour link, which is available now and will run through the first part of the year. But this tour, it, it takes about 80 minutes to watch. So, you know, cozy up with your family and it features 12 homes showcasing their holiday traditions. So while we're not necessarily focusing on architectural details and things like that of a home, um, we're looking at things that people enjoy doing around the holidays. We have Mm -hmm. one family that they do a very extensive model train display throughout their living room and in their basement where they spend hours of time putting that together. Uh, We have one uh, individual that she has close to 200 penguin ornaments and (laughs) and, stuffed animals and figurines and you name it, she's got it. Uh, We have another individual that has over 100 uh, nativity scenes through his home and he also has Christmas trees in every room. So, and he has stories that go along with all of these nativity scenes and where he received them from, with, with travels, with mission work. Wow! So we, we we touch on a lot of that throughout this tour, um, and like I said, we we have twelve stops with that, and it just you know talking about people's traditions, not necessarily just the general you know overall house tour that we typically would do. Well, I'm so glad you brought that up, Ian. I I had no idea that it went you know, beyond the beautiful decorations that families do. That's really, really special to have that. And I'm sure, you know, the families that are featured, this is a special memory for them too uh, to have recorded. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, everybody that was involved this year, they've been huge supporters of the house tour in the past. Um, and this also allowed us to kind of reach out of the community, the Scottsdale general community, mm-hmm. uh, to be able to talk to a few individuals, you know, from Greensburg that and Mount Pleasant that do support the historical society in a variety of ways. And while they wouldn't typically be part of our traditional house tour, this gave them an opportunity to to be, you know, part of our event. Well, and I, you know, when we talk to all of these different groups, it seems like even though obviously the pandemic has brought its challenges, it's also opened up the opportunity to find new ways of doing things. So maybe in the future, you know, there's a way to involve these families again. And it's really special that the way that they were discovered is through their support of the Historical Society. So, yeah, good for the Scottsdale Historical Society. So exciting. Absolutely.
And uh, Scott Dale, speaking of, their light up night is fast approaching. Uh, so, Ian, if you could talk about plans that the Scott Dale Historical Society has for this event and the days and times. Absolutely. So, the Scott Dale Winter Celebration takes place on the first Saturday of December. So, that would be December 4th. And that happens to also be the same day that we typically would have held our house tour. Mm-hmm. And one of the nice things about that is it gave you know people a reason to come to Scottsdale and experience the day. So we're still want to be part of that, even though we're not doing our house tour, but we, we want to be part of that light up celebration. So Santa Claus makes his way into town on, on the fire truck parade. Uh, that happens, I believe, at 5 p.m. And it stops the gazebo park where Santa's there greeting the children and families. And the Scotto Historical Society, we're going to be there just as a small fundraising event for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We'll be selling soup and, you know, there will be other community organizations there um, selling, you know, hot chocolate, different snack type things. Mm-hmm. And I believe there's different craft vendors and other shopping opportunities downtown. So it gives, you know, individuals coming into, into Scotto a chance to, you know, support the community, small businesses, to have fun with their families and just to enjoy the holiday season. And I like the inclusion of all the cozy foods, certainly my favorite part of the holiday season. Uh, So we'll make sure to stop by to get some Scottsdale Historical Society soup at this event. And that, again, is the first Saturday of December, December 4th. And Ian, that's so is this an all day event? Is it just in the evening? What times? This just takes place in the evening. So the mm-hmm. parade, as I said, I believe it starts at 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. and it comes down through Pittsburgh Street um, and then ends at the gazebo. And then I believe it just kind of goes until like seven o'clock or so. So it's it's a shorter event, but it's it's great for the community and bringing people out and spending time together. And it's nice and family friendly, too. And hopefully, you know, when you're meeting Santa and supporting all of these local businesses, you get to enjoy the ambiance of Scottsdale during the holiday season as well. That's correct. And Ian, uh, final question here as we're wrapping up. Uh, how else can members of the public contribute to helping the Scottsdale Historical Society with repairs, other projects? I know that uh, the Laux House is in need of a couple of update uh, projects. So how, how can members of the public support you through that endeavor? Yeah, so like all you know organizations over the last year with the pandemic you know we we definitely had our struggles with fundraising opportunities with mm-hmm. the cancellation of our holiday house tours the past few years and the virtual tour was able to supplement that a little bit but you know those definitely are some of our bigger fundraising events that help us with general everyday maintenance needs of of a house that's one of the oldest in Scottsdale, if not the oldest. Mm -hmm. And this summer, we discovered that we had to make some very crucial roof repairs to one of our outbuildings. Ah, And that was definitely a pretty big hit to our budget overall. Mm -hmm. And as we were doing those, you know, making that discovery, we learned of several other repairs that were going to be needed to old slate roofs over the next 12 to 24 months. Mm -hmm. So we are kicking off our uh, fund drive for, um, you know, looking for donations to help repair these roofs and to, you know, continue to offer um, things here at the Historical Society. You know, we use it as an event space. We host things with the community in those locations. So, you know, we want to make sure that we have these you know, facilities for years to come. Right. right. And, you know, so we're, we're hoping that, you know, with, with this fundraising campaign where, you know, people can go to scottdohistoricalsociety.com mm-hmm. and be able to make a donation through our PayPal link um, to us, you know, that's where those funds would go to and, and we would greatly appreciate it. Wonderful. Uh, Always, you know, good to support our local historical societies because you're the ones who are taking care of that local history. And uh, we thank you for that. Yeah, and, and you know, and I appreciate being able to be here with you today to to talk about all of these things. Yes, me too, and it's it's exciting to think about the future and the holiday season, uh, celebrating together and getting to support some really worthy local places. So, Ian, thank you so much for your time this morning. 
Yep. Thank you very much. And you and your family have a great holiday season. Thank you. Please check out the Scottsdale Historical Society at scottsdalehistoricalsociety.com and on Facebook. That's where you can find information about the virtual house tour for this year, as well as donations for supporting the Scottsdale Historical Society's projects. This is Heritage Happenings, the show with the latest information on Westmoreland County cultural and historical events and organizations. I'm Jessica Petrovich. Thanks to our sponsor, St. Vincent College, for supporting our show today. Our final guest, Jennifer Benford, Director of Marketing and Development at the Westmoreland Cultural Trust, is on call with us today. Jennifer, thank you so much for taking the time this morning. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm I'm excited about talking about all the the great things that are coming to the palace this this uh, holiday season. Yes, it is the most wonderful time of the year, especially <laughs> at the Westmoreland Cultural Trust. Uh, we have family friendly shows, holiday cheer practically every weekend and some weekdays too. Uh, so, could you share with our listeners about some upcoming wonderful performances? Sure. Um, it'll kick off. Uh, Tuesday, November 23rd, we have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, um, which is a musical. It's a great family show. It's, it's so adorable. All of the characters from the the TV show come to life right on, on stage, um, including like Hermie the Elf and Bumble the Abominable Snow Monster, and of course, Rudolph and Clarice. And it's just such a wonderful family event. Uh-huh. Um, so you don't want to miss that. It, this is their second time coming to the palace, and it's the last time sold out. So I would suggest getting your getting your tickets and coming in and having a good night at the Palace Theater with with your your kids. Yes. And then um, let's see, Wednesday, December 1st, we have Cirque Musica Holiday Spectacular, and that'll have holiday music paired with like edge of your seat circus uh, performances. So that's a unique experience. This is the first time they've been here before. Ooh. And then the following night on December 2nd, um, we have the coasters, the drifters, and the platters. So those are three Rock and Roll Hall of Fame acts that will be here um, performing, you know, all the music that you love, um, plus some some holiday tunes thrown in. Very nice. Yep. December 4th, we have River City Brass Christmas Brass Tacular. Uh, River City Brass comes every year. They have a they do their full season here at the Palace, but it's always special in December. Um, this year, they'll do, of course, all your favorite holiday hits, but um, they're doing music from family movies like Frozen and Polar Bear Express, so... Oh, very so nice. Be a great night, yeah. Yeah, this is an, uh, the River City Brass is a classic to see at the Palace. So make sure to go to that one if you've never been to a show before. And then, of course, you can't miss the Nutcracker coming up December 11th. Um, that's been a tradition here at the Palace for many years. Mm-hmm. Uh, West, Westmoreland Symphony Orchestra actually performs live during the Nutcracker. So it's the only the area's only live orchestra version of this um, iconic ballet. Yes. Yeah, and this year it'll feature Texture Contem- Texture Contemporary Ballet Company. Um, so they're a new ballet company, but they're they're fabulous. So look for that on December 11th. And uh, Jennifer, yeah, I know that we have all the great performances coming up too, and you're welcome to share more. But I did want to ask before <laughs> the time goes so quickly: um, are, are there any other opportunities for folks to visit and embrace the arts throughout Westmoreland County in uh, these upcoming festive holiday months? And you can talk more about performances, but I didn't want to forget to ask you about oh, this sure. too. Oh, yeah. We have, um, if people aren't familiar, we have Wings Across Westmoreland. So we have a pair of wings, a uh, life-size version of wings that you can get pictures in front of throughout the county. So there's eight different locations. Oh, um, wow. Currently, we'll be adding more. Um, there's a pair at Overly. So if you go to Overly's to uh, see the Christmas lights, there's a pair there. We have them um, at Ligonier's, Smithton, Mount Pleasant, Jeanette, Youngwood. There's there's a pair in, right here in Greensburg in our art in the alley. So as you're out enjoying, you know, light up nights and, and different festivals throughout the community, you can also visit our wings, take a picture, post them on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And each 
pair of wings um, has artwork that, that is unique to each of the different towns. Well, I didn't realize how many places they were now last, yes. last I had checked in. It was just at a couple. And my gosh, now you're almost to 10 across the county. That's wonderful. Yeah, we have more planned for the upcoming year. So we're, we're spreading our wings across the county. I love that. And I, yeah. especially, you know, overlays, that's going to be that special time to go and visit um, that, you know, you can't access overlays all year. So if you are trying to collect pictures at every pair of wings across the county, this is the time to do it, certainly. And uh, Jennifer, if there were any other shows that you wanted to talk about, I, I would love to hear more. I know that uh, the Westmoreland Symphony Orchestra also has their Home for the Holidays concert. <laughs> Yes, that's on December 18th, and they actually feature the All-Star Choir of Westmoreland County, um, and they'll have, like, all your favorite holiday tunes, like Silver Bells and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It's such a great time. There's, the stage is filled with, you know, musicians and singers and such amazing talent that we have right here in Westmoreland County. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a not-to-miss show. Um, we also have Marie Osmond's uh, Magical Symphonic Christmas, um, and that's on December 15th. Ooh. And that'll feature her nephew, David Osmond, and Daniel Emmett, who is a finalist on America's Got Talent. But that's also a holiday show coming up. Oh, wow. Yep. So we have a lot going on um, just for the holidays. And then we have plenty of shows coming up in 2022. Um, I did want to mention that um, gift certificates are available. Oh, excellent. Um, so if a good gift some, for any time yeah. of year. <laughs> yeah. So if you can't make it for December or you want to, you know, to give something someone can use, you know, throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gift certificates are perfect. And we're running a special now um, for a limited time. You buy a hundred dollar gift certificate and you get a $25 gift certificate. So, Oh, that's wonderful. And is yeah. that also for the palace or is that for a different location? That's for the palace. Oh, perfect. Wow. Yep. So spend a hundred and get 25 free. That's, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jennifer, I'm not going to ask you about 2022 because I think we're going to talk next month. So I'll, I'll save some fun for uh, our December show here. But uh, just a quick recap, lots of holiday shows. You can go to thepalacetheater.org to find details on all of those. Don't miss Wings Across Westmoreland, especially at Overly's Country Christmas, which by the time this show airs will be open for the season. And don't forget about gift certificates as you're trying to uh, stuff those stockings around the holidays. Well, thank you so much for having me. And, you know, if anybody wants any information, they can visit our website at uh, www.thepalacetheater.org. Excellent. Jennifer, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you for having me. And as Jennifer said, please check out Westmoreland Cultural, Cultural Trust at thepalacetheater.org. And you can also find them across Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Heritage Happenings, the show with the latest information on Westmoreland County cultural and historical events and organizations. I'm Jessica Petrovich. Thanks to our sponsor, St. Vincent College, for supporting our show today. Before we close, we have a quick announcement to share from St. Vincent College, our show sponsor, St. Vincent Summer Theater is returning with a special Christmas show. This winter, the St. Vincent Summer Theater will host a special performance titled Celebrate the Season, a Christmas show on Saturday, December 11th at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, December 12th at 2 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center on the St. Vincent College campus. Tickets are now on sale and cost $25 for adults and $20 for children 12 and younger. For tickets, you can visit www stvincent.edu slash summer theater or you can call 724-805-2177 directed by assistant professor of theater and producing artistic director gregory brandt celebrate the season a christmas show is a holiday style production that will feature many favorite christmas classics and other timeless holiday traditions the show will consist of four professional artists and will feature eight current SVC performing arts students. That's all we have time for today. Be sure to stay safe and healthy. Take some time to visit and enjoy our Westmoreland County cultural and historic events and sites. And of course, be sure to check out St. Vincent College and all of its recent accomplishments. Follow Westmoreland Heritage on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and check out all of our information on westmorelandheritage.org. 
This has been Jessica Petrovich, your Westmoreland Heritage Director and host for Heritage Happenings here on 98.7 Westmoreland Gold, 1480 WCNS, and westmorelandgold.net, sponsored by St. Vincent College. Heritage Happenings is also available as a podcast on all of your favorite streaming services. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Until next time. How will your college experience transform you? How will you learn to make a difference in your life and the lives of others? At St. Vincent College, we attract high-achieving students who quite naturally place we ahead of me. A small college like St. Vincent gives you more access to the opportunities that will shape your future. At St. Vincent College, we succeed together. Together. Discover the power of we. Learn more now at stvincent.edu. At LHTC Broadband, we're proud to provide the communication services you need to get the most from today's technology. We're your local choice for TV, phone, and internet. We offer high-quality cable TV service with HD, multi-room DVR, on-demand, and watch TV everywhere, plus unlimited calling. And our internet is faster than ever with speeds up to one gigabyte. With no contracts and local customer service, switching has never been easier. Call today, 724-593-2411, or visit lhtcbroadband.com.